What are y'all doing? Let's do a quick Bible study on the metaphysical meaning of Antichrist. Who is the Antichrist? Because it's not an external person who is regarded as supremely evil, as our Christian and theologian friends teach us. Beloveds, it's you. The Antichrist is you. It's the part of you that denies the laws of mind. It's the part of you that denies the absolute truth and will not recognize the indwelling Christ within. Remember, the Bible is a spiritual autobiography of you. So as you read scripture, all the biblical characters are referring to you. They are archetypes of you as you move through different states of consciousness. Now, the Antichrist is regarded as the mark of the beast that is your conscious mind. Remember, the Latin origin of the word sinistra or sinister is left. That is your left brain hemisphere where your conscious mind resides. It's an unruly animal. It's a beast to discipline. It's a part of you that denies who you really are. All of humanity is governed by the laws of mind. They are immutable laws and no one can break them. We are all here to discipline and master our minds. The Bible is a book on mind science. Again, it's not on religion. And I know I sound like a broken record when I say that, but I get new subscribers and new followers every day and they've never heard this before. The Bible is an autobiography of you. So when you read it in that way, it is so much more easier to understand and you will be mind blown when you look at the Bible symbolically and not literally. Religion has indoctrinated all of us to keep looking outside of ourselves. An outside savior, there is an outside devil, there are people and evil things out there doing things to us. Everyone and everything is us pushed out. Therefore, there's no one to change but self. When you rely too heavily on your five physical senses, that's your left brain, your conscious mind, you have not understood the power of your right brain hemisphere, the subconscious mind, which houses the human imagination. That is God, there is no other God. Neville Goddard repeatedly told us to leave the outer world alone because it's only a reflection of self. Who you are on the inside, what you see and what you imagine is your inner world, that is the truth. And then it's reflected in your outer world. Many of you are seeing and perceiving backwards. You're relying too heavily on your outer world or your five physical senses or the conscious mind. The conscious mind is not in control. Your subconscious mind is. That is the law of cause and effect. You've got to get this. What you imagine vividly, your desire already fulfilled, your prayers already answered, your goals already obtained. You see it vividly in the imagination then you'll see it objectify in your physical reality. It is always in that order, as above, so below, as within, so without. Stop relying heavily on your five physical senses and leave the outer world alone. It takes discipline, courage, and bravery to do this. I am telling you, the conscious mind, the left brain hemisphere is a beast. And until you understand that the absolute truth resides in the imagination, you are the Antichrist.